believe that none of these are anything I would say. I would say, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I can understand why it's boring. Are you insane? No offense, but are you crazy? <laughs> Oh, you. Yeah, it was a joke. I think yeah. we're all a little mad in the end. That is true. I'm sure I'll see you around. Hello, guys, and welcome back to some more Fallout 4. We are still here at Arcadia. Uh, we're supposed to help them out. I'm just going to go I ask around. Uh, see what but anyone wants. Every day is a struggle, but you don't have to hide. You wouldn't know you would be hiding if you had been reprogrammed. God. Maybe if I reroute the sensors? Not to mention, half of these people might not even be synths. Energy output on these things are terrible. Like, just think about it for a second. He, like, attracts people he thinks may be synths because of their holes and memories and stuff. What if he just forgot that something? Better luck rebuilding this from scratch. She had weird dreams, sure, but that does not mean Assuming she's a synth. Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. Uh, what are you working on? What's that you're working on? Just... Trying to cobble some pre-war junk into something usable. Now, do you mind telling me what you're doing here? I am here by your parents' orders. I'm a detective. I'm a detective. I was hired to find you. You... You're what? You came all this way... For me? You left without telling your folks why. You must have known they'd be worried. Look, my mom and dad... I, I mean... Wow, now you're just here. being an a-hole to them. Me back. Not if they, knew the truth. they don't care. I don't care. You can work that out with your parents. I'm taking you home. No, you don't get it. I am not their daughter. I'm a sin. How You're I'm still their daughter regardless or not if you're a sin. You have all the memories. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Not knowingly. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? And you still don't know if you're a synth. God, this is stupid. Okay, so... We have this dilemma now where... Because remember, there is no, there's technically no difference between the synth and the human the synth replaces. Because they have the exact same time of the memory. Because they're either sleeping when they're kidnapped. Or they erase that just one part of their memory, right? Uh, so essentially what she's saying is I, I, I was her, I'm still her but I'm not her I'm like you're, you're still her not saying anything. yes I'm talking to my audience here that might be watching that probably hates me because I keep doing this uh, but it doesn't matter Like, uh, goodness sake if you are her and you are synth you're still her you just replaced. You just replaced her somehow? The only difference is you can't have kids, I'm guessing. Maybe you can have kids. I don't know how well they, they manage to make sense. If they look and sound human, then I wouldn't be surprised if they have like organs like humans in the same way. Because only synth components can be found on corpses, right? So you have to die in order to really Hello? get them. You're just standing there. You're just confused. Kasumi, I think you're just confused. Everyone has doubts about who they are sometimes. It's part of life. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. Yes, you don't I say. I leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. Is that a problem? What kind of problem is there in Acadia? It's a long story. I just have to figure out how to... Wait. Wait, you find things. Track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. Yes. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. Then I would believe you. All right. I'm listening. Okay. Where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. 
data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. We should get to the bottom of this. If Dima is putting on an act, we need to know. I don't think he's putting on an act. I think he genuinely believes he's helping people. But if it's in his memory bank, what if he can't access it? You don't trust Dima? You don't trust Dima? After you came all this way for him? I didn't come to Acadia for him. I came here because this place offered answers. And now that I found a place I belong, I'd rather not lose it all if Dima is secretly planning to destroy everything. Sure, I can help. Why not? I'll help if I can. But that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop. But it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. I'll just talk to Dima. This will be easier if I just talk to Dima. Convince him that he needs to be honest with us. All right. Good luck. Let me know what you find out. From one case to a new one. It's never easy for us, is it? I swear someone has the key to that storage room. Maybe Cog? He's always moving supplies. Cog? I don't know who Cog is. I only know that this is a synth refugee. <clears throat> Hello. Katie is far away enough from the Institute. This is it? Oh, okay. I was planning on unlocking that anyway at some point, but um, I'm not going to do it now if that's the case. I just realized something. What if... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What if the people who actually did this, right, are the synths? Current projects for condensers. Uh, power consumption, feedback, theme upgrades, vacuum tubes, adaptive scaling, okay. Memory access. Uh, I'm concerned that we are approaching the limits of what Dima's internal power source can safely accommodate. Too m much more of this and he risks overworking himself. Best practice, reconstruction surgery. Uh, left arm repaired, full function. Severe trauma to the head, upper torso. All functions restored. Should have completed successfully with minor scouring. This is condensed fog. Okay. Why are they storing condensed fog? Okay. Hi. Esther, who are so, you? I understand you've seen a good bit of our island. What do you think? dangerous and I don't like it. It's a hellhole. The term hellhole comes to mind. Perhaps a bit harsh, but the environment certainly can be unforgiving. This island, with all of its danger and beauty, predates you and I. The ecosystem isn't what it once was, but it has adapted, and it will continue to adapt long after we're gone. What's important, really important in the long run, is understanding it, and then passing that knowledge along to those who will follow us. Specific? So, what exactly are you doing? As much as I can, given limited resources. Cataloging specimens, observing evolutionary trends, compiling data for future generations. I should note that I'm not fully versed in human anatomy, but I'm your best chance of medical assistance should you require it. Since Dima has approved of you, I'm more than willing to offer help. Dima holds a lot of stuff here. Yeah, okay. Uh, what about Acadia? What can you tell me about Acadia? It was originally a place of science. I like that about it. Feels like home in a way. I don't mean the Institute when I say home. More that... Uh, I don't know. That abstract feeling of belonging someplace. We all belong here, in our own way. Dima's to be thanked for that. Okay. Can I help you? 
Uh, your story. So, what's your story? Similar to most here, I think. I fled the Institute feeling that anything else would be allowing myself to remain trapped, constantly in fear. I chose not to go into hiding, though. I felt to do that, I'd lose what makes me me. Does that make sense? If no. I lost my life, that'd no, be it does one not. thing. To lose my identity, uh, that was too much to bear. What do you mean? Thankfully, it's the same it thing. Never came to that. So, here I am. It's like lose your identity or lose your life. You would be killed either way. You wouldn't be you anymore if you lost your identity. So, 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 and you choose to get killed instead. Then, oh my God, these people—they have a zero logic. Ooh, meat though. Hi. Can I help you? Uh, I want to help. Sure, I want to help. I'd like to help you with your research. Oh, well, that's thoughtful of you. Hmm. Okay. What can we have you do? There's Anything? a flower native to this island, a species of the genus Aster, that has survived remarkably well. Oh, that's why you're called it Aster, quite huh? Have the brilliance of color that I understand it once did, before, hmm, well, before the war. I'm personally rather fond of them, but lately have been investigating secondary chemical properties they possess. If you could bring me additional samples, it would speed up my research. I can offer you a meager amount of caps. If that makes the idea more appealing. Uh, what's the point? What exactly is the point of all this? A mix of scientific inquiry and personal interest, I suppose. I'm curious about the changes the species has gone through over the centuries. I also find them beautiful. Okay. Uh, sure, I'll find flowers for you. I have some flowers for you. I'm sorry, is this a Wanna joke date I'm too? not in on? If you do actually find any, I'll be happy to take them. Joke, joke, you're not it on. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I was serious. It's ha it's half a joke and half serious. You should try to read that. It's kind of important that you understand. Dijon. Two. Excuse okay, Dijon, what about I you? I assume you're not planning on staying long. Wait, we have one, another one of these guys. Do you have a problem with me? Is there a problem with my being here? Maybe. Maybe not. A case this is like the other guy in flipping Fahaba too. We take unnecessary risks. We get careless. And things can go bad. Fast. If there's a synth who needs a safe place, then we take them in. Let them live as a synth without fear. You what about the fog? That makes you an unnecessary risk. It's nothing personal. Minimizing our contact with outsiders is just practical. Change your mind? Is there anything I can say or do to change your mind? Just don't cause any problems. At least you're more honest than the other <clears throat> guy. You want to buy something or what? Uh, what about Acadia? What can you tell me about Acadia? It's smaller than I'd like it to be. But then, we don't exactly have the numbers to fill someplace larger. Makes it easier to defend anyway. Forget it. Did you want something or not? What is your story? So, what's your story? I... I don't like talking about it. I made it to Acadia. That's what matters. Now that I'm here, I'm going to make sure nothing happens to it. Okay. Fine. Miranda, so hello. you're that new fellow from the Commonwealth. It's so wonderful to meet someone from back home. I'm afraid Kasumi doesn't seem to want to discuss it, but... How are things there? Getting better. Getting better every day, I think. Oh, that's so good to hear. I would like to see it again someday. Once things settle down here. Acadia is all well and good, I suppose. But honestly, it does get a bit boring. Leave none of these are anything I would say. I would say, oh, okay. All right. I can understand why it's boring. Are you insane? No offense, but are you crazy? <laughs> oh, you. Yeah, it was a joke. I think yeah. we're all a little mad in the end. That is true. I'm sure I'll see you around. Do take care. <clears throat> I can't wait to get out of here and travel. Okay, I mean, it makes sense to me.
What about you, Jewel? Hey. New guy, right? Look. Yeah. I'm not anybody worth talking to. My head is killing me. Now's not a good time. What's wrong? What's wrong? We're doing this anyway. Even after saying I don't want to talk, <laughs> God. I want to help. Try having somebody botch a mind wipe on you and see how it feels. Then get back to me, okay? Oh, mind wipe. What do you mean, mind wipe? Oh, for fuck's sake. You're a synth on the run. You go to someone, you get a new face, and they wipe your mind so the institute can yeah. find you. Yeah, but Only where did you get somebody it? Somebody screwed mine up. <laughs> so here I am. Now There's only one place I know of that can please. do that. Leave me alone. No. <clears throat> I'm really not up to chatting right now. I'll give you a head, like a hood in the head, if you don't stop being so. Hmm. Hello, Cog. Hey there. Sounds like you got the all clear. So, what's your story? Kasumi. I came here looking for Kasumi. Oh, isn't that sweet of you? Oh my that god. Kasumi's a good enough kid, I suppose. A little confused, maybe. But then, aren't we all? Not that anyone's asking, but I'll tell you. It all gets easier to deal with when you realize none of it matters. What you are, where you came from, let go of all that, and life gets simple. You don't care. Is there anything you care about? I mean, staying alive is preferable to not. Beyond that, what's the point of caring? Anyway... Lately, I've taken to amusing myself with trading. Don't have much to work with, but I'm always happy to make a good deal. Let me know if you need something. I probably won't have it, but let me know anyway. Uh, can you give me the storage room key? Hey, Kasumi said she needed the key to the storage room downstairs. Can I borrow it? Well, yeah, I guess. I, I mean, you could, but I lost it. Should never have agreed to help Faraday move all that equipment in the observatory. Like there could be anything I'm carrying that's going to damage Dima's computers. I was shoving things around in that upper floor that circles the wall of the telescope room, if that helps. Okay. <clears throat> Need something? Yeah, 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 don't show your butt to sure. me. Sure, let's take a look. Now we're talking. Air pistol? I mean, that's kind of nice. Uh, anything else? You have an MG42? I mean, you have some stuff. You guys seem to be kind of packed. Short, low capacity. Uh, you have Atomic Goosey. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Good to know, anyway. Anyone else I want to speak to? Cole, I haven't <coughs> not spoken with too, you huh? yet. I mean, I haven't been here that long myself. Honestly, I'd be dead right now if it weren't for Chase. Turns out it's pretty hard to live as a synth in the Commonwealth. Sorry you suffered. I'm sorry to hear that you suffered. Thanks. But it doesn't matter now. I'm here and I'm safe. And I'm never leaving. You're not I'll safe. Stay around, okay? Hey. God. If it weren't for Dima, most of us would probably be dead. Here's how I would be safe in the world of Fallout. I would stay as far away from other people as humanly possible. These days, Maybe start up a family in a farm or something. Problems. Only have to look around to see where that got us. Yeah, I guess so. So he lost a key somewhere. Not that it matters. I'm just gonna ask Dima about it. It's probably the easiest thing. A lot of speech anyway. Uh Dima, excuse me, I must speak with hey, you. Dima, what can I do for you? Uh Kasumi's accusations. Kasumi says she's seen parts of your memories. Death projections. For Far Harbor and the center of the island. Not That's them. I'm concerned about you, Dima. She you should be focusing all the on herself. Problems. Certainly her not all life. at once. She shouldn't have to bear the burden of the outside world. Please. This is a matter best left to me and my advisors. We aren't planning to destroy the island. Those projections were merely to help us realize the cost of inaction. I want to help, but I need to know what is going on. If this thing involves the whole island, then you need help. I can be your problem solver if you let me in. I suppose there's something to be said about refusing help, even when it's offered and you're in need. There's a conflict that's been brewing on this island. 
shortly after we built Acadia. Between Far Harbor and the Children of Atom. Simply put, they want to kill each other. And each side wants us to help them. We've tried to stay neutral. But Far Harbor was going to be wiped out by the fog. So that's when we built the condensers for them. And I was friends with the previous leader of the Children of Atom, Confessor Martin. I even gave them their headquarters, the submarine base they named the Nucleus. Which was a mistake. Because Martin is gone and the new Confessor, Tectus, is completely insane. He's been threatening us to force us to choose a side. I left behind something very important in that submarine base I gave them. Dima's earliest memories are stored in the military computer banks in that base. The pre-war security systems and Confessor Martin's goodwill were supposed to keep them safe. But now Tectus is in charge, and he's after Dima's memories. We don't even know what's in them. But we do know that I spent nearly a century on this island alone. Whatever's in there is too dangerous to allow Tectus to get his hands on them. Your memories, huh? You left your memories behind? How does that work? As a prototype synth, my raw data capacity is limited. I began using computer banks to expand, to give me room to ponder, see new things. I had to leave some of my earliest memories behind when I left the sub-base to the Children of Adam. I thought they were safe. How's your idealism going for you? What about Far Harbor then? You're keeping Far Harbor safe, is that it? Not exactly. They're fiercely independent. But the fog was starting to choke more and more of the island. So I proposed a trade. We would give them the technology to keep the fog at bay in return for them being a lifeline to the outside world. A safe dock, and a place to buy supplies. Unfortunately, the Children of Adam view the radioactive fog as a holy portent, and their bloodied history with Far Harbor puts us at odds. Okay, what about the Children, children of Adam? Like, what's your background exactly? The Children of Adam on this island. You were helping them? Yes. I know their faith in radiation as a type of god is a bit different, but who am I to judge? The dangerous. I was using a submarine base as a home when Martin and his followers stumbled inside. They had been cast out of Far Harbor for their beliefs. When I left to found Acadia, I knew the base would be in safe hands. They needed a home, a place to belong just like I did. But now Martin is gone, and his successor, Tectus, wants to finally end the feud with Far Harbor by letting the fog swallow them. Then what can I do against it? So what can I do to help? If you're willing to retrieve what I've lost and bring my memories back to me, then we'd all be one step closer to solving this conflict without bloodshed. You'll have to get through the Children of Adam's base. You're new on the island, so you might be able to pose as a recruit. Then, once you get to the memory banks, you'll have to use a special program Dima and I have been working on to break through the security systems. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. Okay, what about the hacking program? So, how does this program work? There will be a fairly ordinary looking terminal with some attachments. The program will give you access to the terminal. Once you attempt to obtain a memory, your perspective might shift a little. Just relax then. The program will explain things to you as you need them. Okay, I'm on it then. I'll get your memories, Dima. If we're lucky, the pre-war defenses have kept the Children of Atom at bay. But that means you'll have to get past them yourself. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the Children of Atom directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. 
If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. If we find anything suspicious in those memories of yours, we'll be back. Count on it. Dearest Faraday, relax. All will be fine. Dima, okay, that's please it. Please work quickly. I don't know how long my memory banks will be safe from the children of Adam. Okay, what about I, you, Faraday? Yes. Your Tell story. Me about yourself, Faraday. Me? I don't know why you'd care. I escaped the institute. I remember just someone like named here. Faraday. Never had my mind wiped, thankfully. I like to think I came along right when Demon needed me. I found him before all this, before Acadia. He needed my help, though he refused to admit it. He's always been stubborn like that. Anyway, I've been by his side ever since, making sure he has everything he needs. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna talk to Kasumi then. Another thing I must do is also... Um, uh, what, what was it? Some, something else. Oh, well, whatever. It's fine. I forgot. This Asta. Kasumi, I'm here to talk to you. Turns out Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're going to find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the children of Adam will. That's what he says anyway. Is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's... Nuclear codes? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. Yeah, I have Faraday's program. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. I have an ache. Oh, that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. Uh, what then? So, say I get the memories. What then? If it's something that would really threaten the island, then it's better out of the hands of the children of Adam. Or Far Harbor, even. And if Dima really can't be trusted, we'll have his own memories to confront him with. Okay, don't worry then. I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll figure things out from there. Good luck. Okay. Boy, oh boy. Need to help out Arcadia, though. You want to buy something or what? I think I need to gain that trust. That's probably very important. Hmm, okay, let's see. So, first of all... Get a chance to, chance to pacify. I don't know if it's that important. The ninja one trained you, you your range sneak does more damage, okay. Need faster reloads, that would be nice. There we go. Goes back out to the island. So we have a couple missions to do here. Uh, talk to Brooks. Data recovery. Help Chase and help Faraday. Their rival. Those are the people on Dalton Farm. To Brooks. Yeah, okay, so Brooks is at Far Harbor. Uh, these are the storage devices. Okay, I've already been there. Uh, seems good enough. Alright, let's go do it. We can do it right now. It is uh, no big deal.
But I already told the railroad about the synth refuge thingy. Oh well. Uh, so I can either go back to Far Harbor or I can go down south and take care of some of this stuff. I think going to Far Harbor is my priority because then there might be something else I need to go back down there and do. Not to mention, I might just get uh, long, uh, old Longfellow with me again. <coughs> Ow. Okay, now, now what is here? Where am I? Where did I just jump down? I got parasites. Well, that's great. I am currently here. Wow, okay. Not exactly where I wanted to be, but okay. Oh. Oh, God, this scared me a bit. Oof. Are these the right ones? I'm looking for something called Aster. Your blight. Are the Asters the... The ass to start the stuff? Because I don't actually know. Oh, aren't you one of the picking? No, you're not. That's where I need to go. I don't think we're alone. 38 FPS while looking this way. God, that's awful. Shooting with an unsteady, like, 38 FPS is horrible. Not that I cannot see anything whatsoever because of the fog. This makes it worse that my performance is so bad. Reload, come on. We finally did. On. We'll be taking that. Okay, great. What else do we have over here? Nothing else? Okay, let's just get out of here. This is horrible leg, I tell you. This horrible leg. Oh, it's you. Oh, no ammo. <laughs> Walking towards him shooting, then running out of ammo immediately. Okay, let's go ahead and take care of this then. Let's get out of here. This is horrible FPS. Is it just a water that's awful? Wait, where did the enemy go that was here? Oh well, I'm just gonna complain. I'm just gonna run. Are we getting chased or something? Yeah. To get out of here. Okay, Brooks, what do you want? <sighs> I 
Going the wrong way, I need to get right instead. Everything is okay. Did she use the... I think she did. I think those are it. The little <laughs> weird tower things. She's still alive. Mariner. Harbor's safe as it's going to get. You ever get a gnawing in your belly to do something crazy? But reason and sense keep steering you clear? Uh, I usually play it safe. Well, actually, I rely on logic. If you abandon your common sense, it rarely turns out well. That's good advice, but I don't think I can take it. You're the only mainlander I'd ever tell of this. So hear me out. The Red Death. May have heard of it. The big monster lives beneath the waves. Only strikes when the fog is thick. People think it's some drunken sailor's tale. But no one goes sailing when there's a fog on. In their bones, they know there's something out there. Yeah, I believe you, I guess. For whatever it's worth, I believe you. Thank you. With my business here done, and knowing someone like yourself, I seek to end this unholy terror. Dozens of boats over the long years been claimed by it. I mean to hunt this Red Death. Are you with me? I'm in. Bring whatever weapons of death and mass destruction you got. Meet by the docks. You take your boat, I'll take mine. This trip is going to test our metal more than anything. Okay, sounds great to me. Where's Brooks? Oh, you're Food Brooks. Front, dock and back. I need to talk to you about our missing synth. Yeah? Well, it's not something I talk about with outsiders. So you can either buy something or move along. Are you kidding me? I'm working with Chase. She told me that your designation is L-792. Okay, I believe you. But keep it down, all right? It's real private information. I don't know the synth you're talking about. He's a younger guy. Maybe early 20s with white hair. Goes by the name Derek. Thing is, he showed up way earlier than he was supposed to. Thought a courser was on his tail, so he rushed the timetable. To be honest, the guy was a wreck. He was scared shitless. Looking over his shoulder every five minutes and attracting unwanted attention. Tried to calm him down, but he panicked and ran off into the fog. That was the last I saw of him. You have any more information? Can you tell me anything else? I'm going to need more information than that if I'm going to find this synth. I wish I had more to give you. He disappeared into the fog and I haven't seen him since. Okay, no need to worry. I'll take care of it. Relax. I'll take care of this. Sorry. My nerves are a little shot right now. Look, if you're really going after that synth, I'm pretty sure you took the road south out of town. Maybe you could head that way. Just be careful out there. And thanks. There aren't many who'd go out in the fog to help a synth, especially one they don't even know. I feel like shit about what happened. I really do. I hope you can make it right. Okay, so you may stop is what you're saying. It's well, I have other stuff to do. Uh, and with that, I also have to end this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, consider liking and subscribing. Hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.